Very good afternoon to all of the parents, teachers, and our partner schools. We are continuing our efforts to bring to you various informations and various ways that we can improve the skill of our kids so that we can make a better future for them. We have been talking more on the language and communication skills in last few weeks and we'll continue on that. Language and communication skill is one of the very important skill that a child must possess in order to make other skills quite effective. So today we are going to talk about a very easy and effective game which will help us to improve the writing skills in our kid. So now I divided kids last month did a small research to assess the ineffectiveness in the writing skill among children by picking up around 300 children in 27 of its partner schools all across India. In this research, Adivarate Kids administered a very, very small questionnaire which helped us to assess whether the child is good in the writing skills or not. And the result what we got is very, very surprising. It shows more than 40% children out of these 300 children, they were assessed for effectiveness in writing in different classes, starting from play group to nursery to LKG and UKG. And 40% children are found to be not up to the mark or in other words, the writing skill was very, very ineffective. And we know when we plan out different uh, pedagogy for the children in these ages, then it becomes very important for us to improve the writing skill. And therefore, writing skill, if it is not very good, then the communication, some point of time becomes very, very ineffective. When 40% children, they're missing out some of these skills in writing, then it is very important for all of us to check out how we can improve these writing skills in our children. So when we talk about writing skills, then Adivarate Kids defines it it's in own way based on the experience, based on our own research working with various schools, then we have defined the writing skill as the ability to convey what we want to convey through drawing of a picture, writing a word or few words, writing a sentence, or writing a paragraph. So this is what Adivarate Kids has defined the writing skill. And to go further, apart from the fine motor skill and basic pattern writing, when we introduce such things in the very beginning of child's writing process, that means when the child is around three years, then we introduce the basic pattern writing, which helps the child to understand the writing patterns. And patterns, they form various letters, then letters form various words, then words from various sentence. So this is the gradual process, how the writing skill is improved among the children. Therefore, apart from this fine motor skills, because if the child is not able to hold the pencil or crayon quite easily, then writing patterns and so also the letters, the words and the sentence, it becomes difficult. 
so these are the very basic and important things of writing apart from these two things the other factors like exposure to various objects when we make our child to get exposed to different objects in real sense or through pictures that also is one of the factor that uh, has an impact on the writing skill and combination of objects and the meaning of those objects because objects when the child is getting exposed then that is combined to a sound a, a, a sound which defines the meaning of the object and comprehending the multiple information available to the kid when the kid grows then we expose the kid with lot of information we expose the kid with multiple objects in a picture book or in real uh, life then through this child is comprehending various understanding in the mind and these are the secondary information secondary skills which defines the quality of writing skill in the child then what happens when the child is small maybe the child is we are so when we start the uh, very basic uh, scribbling by using a pencil or crayon then the child grows off uh, to let's say 3 years then getting into nursery then the child further grows off then uh, getting into uh, further uh, information and combination of and more more and more information the child uh, gets connected to so by the time the child is finishing the pre primary school education gradually the child is getting exposed to lots of information and the ability of child's comprehension of all the information creates a base for the communication skill and since writing is one of the important part of the communication skill that is also getting improved so in these things what happens the level of exposure to objects and knowledge goes on increasing and with the level of exposure to various objects and knowledge when it is increasing then the writing communication skill is also getting improved so it's a natural process but although it's a natural process we the parents or teachers must be very very careful so that we can build this skill very very systematically and now when we are talking of writing skill in the pre primary schools that is uh, our preschool years of the child in the play group the child is between 2 to 3 years and in this what we do is that pre hand scribbling one thing we parents and teachers must keep it in mind that even if the child is 2 to 3 years of age the child comprehends some kind of information and makes meaning out of it and when that process information is processed in the mind and child is trying to put something in a piece of paper and a crayon that means child wants to communicate through that scribbling so that's very very important for us to understand when a child is doing a free hand scribbling in the age of 2 to 3 years if we observe very keenly we can find some pattern the child is trying to put in the in the in the piece of paper so we can do some kind of experiment or you can do a keen observation if you can just sow some fruits or vegetables then you give a piece of paper and crayon the child whatever child will be scribble on the piece of paper that may be resembling to that fruits and vegetable we just exposed to the child maybe the child is unable to speak what the child is scribbling or uh doing the in the form of scribbling in the piece of paper but definitely it is connected to those things with the child just got uh, exposed to and moving further after this play group years are over when the child is doing lot of scribbling and when the child is getting in the nursery class between 3 and 4 years then we introduce the formal writing by introducing basic pattern writing these patterns may be slipping lines standing lines slanting lines backward curve forward curve so these are the very basic patterns which form various which helps the child to write the letters then when the child is getting exposed to this patterns 
and then child also enjoys writing and putting this pattern into different forms so then the child in the 3 and 4 years try to put writing by using maximum number of pattern that the child is getting exposed now imagine when the child is getting exposed to various objects the child is getting exposed to various information and we introduce this very basic patterns to the child so that combine combination of everything child is trying to put into the piece of paper which will create that something the child would like to convey to others the child does like to put the creative idea into that paper so that time as teachers and parents it's very very important to encourage the child to put further in the piece of paper how this things can be written in a very very structured way so this is what the nursery class uh, we do for the children and moving further the child goes to oh, lower kindergarten or what we call the junior kg between 4 and 5 years and here the child is actually formalizes and systematizes all the patterns into various alphabets or english either it is english letters or its regional language or the hindi anything that the child puts together all the patterns to form all the letters and the child really enjoys putting that a b c d by using different patterns combination of different pattern uh, basic patterns so they form various letters and the child can write a the child can write b the child can write hindi letter a a kind of things by using this and the here the writing skill becomes very very formalized and the child also looks to various sight words like is an am these that so these kind of words the child is getting exposed to then the child wants to copy this kind of things into a piece of paper so the writing skill further improves then finally in the last segment of pre primary class is uh, upper kindergarten or what we call the senior kg and in this age which is 5 5 and 6 years then the child is really getting exposed to various words that forms various meaning so at this age the child can really write various words to communicate something to others so here at this stage the child is very very confident and comfortable to combine various letters which can form a word and this word the child uses very very comfortable by writing that in the piece of paper which is the writing skill by conveying some kind of meaning to others so that's what is the formal growth of the child as far as the writing skill is concerned so these are the basic skills we have been discussing over uh, various uh, forums and in our sunday webinars and i just thought to bring to your notice so that when you are spending time with the child we must understand child in the 3 years cannot just write all the abcd just like that without understanding without having a kind of mastery in various pattern so i always suggest to all the parents it's better to keep the child practicing the patterns rather than exposing directly writing the alphabets or various letters either in english hindi or any regional language so once the child is comfortable with patterns it becomes a cake work for the child to put the letters into the form so that's what is very very important to understand now with this understanding and we know that what is what child needs to put into the piece of paper what we call writing skill to communicate something either to peers or either to teachers or to parents or to other relatives so that we can enjoy that with the child now let's play an easy game to develop the writing skill of our kids as i said we have done this research and this research has said that 40% children are missing some kind of writing skill and many children when we visit various schools and talk to principals and teachers they often say that around few children they don't enjoy writing when we inquire further then we realized apart from this 2 to 3 hours they spend in the school back at home 
they do not practice any writing skill and if we just give the same thing then it becomes a kind of uh, very uh, uh, lethargy kind of exercise and the child they don't enjoy such kind of things so let's see that what we need to have this uh, game so we need to play this game with the child in our home so that we can improve the writing skill we need a piece of paper uh, that a4 paper uh, blank paper is very easy and uh, very very good for this activity let's have them then we need a pencil or if the child is very small we need a crayon so these are the three things we need to play this game now we call this game as the mute conversation believe me parents this game is very very effective and we have introduced this game uh, among various parents and the result is fantastic so in this what we need to do to play this game with our child so let the child play this game either with teachers or parents so it is not like that this only uh, teachers can have this game at school we as parents at home we can have this game and this game may be played for 20 minutes 10 minutes 5 minutes whatever time is available with us we can play this game with our child but one thing parents i request to remember that four stages we have seen that play group nursery lkg ukg and each of the class there is a requirement the child understands the child acquires some knowledge in terms of writing please keep limited to only those things please do not bring further things into this play then child will not enjoy this game then condition of this game which is known as mute conversation child do not speak at all during the game and must put whatever child feels the child must put that into the piece of paper while the child wants to convey something so so we have to be very very careful that when we are playing this game will not allow the child to speak anything during the game so parents and teachers need to understand that and provide the same to the child meaning if something is told to the child the 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 the, uh, the child is being asked to do something then the child must be putting that into the piece of paper or we can say if you want something please do not speak but you write that in the paper and as per our definition we say it can be drawing a uh, object anything that the child wants to convey if the child wants anything the child can either put it in form of drawing it or the child can put it in the form of scribbling the child can write in a word or a combination of words but child must write something that and to make this game interesting you can just you know you can start with something if the child is in nursery around 3 and 4 years the child is not able to write a word then what we can do we can just make a picture of something if i want a apple then i can put a picture of apple then i say that i want apple the similar things the parents they can also ask the child to follow the same thing so that can be done so for example now if the child is very very small uh, which is in the play group that also this game also we can play with a child between 2 to 3 years of age then we, what we can say then we can say what do you want can you just put it into the piece of paper then the child may do like this the child may you know put a scribbling kind of things free hand scribbling but then as a parent we know that child there is something in child's mind child want to put that into the piece of paper in the form of scribbling then it becomes our duty if the child is in that age group we keep on asking what do you want what you have brought it here what you are just trying to convey that what you have made in the piece of paper so that can be done then we understand the pattern writing of the child what the child is trying to put it if the child is little little uh, uh, older uh, maybe between 3 and 4 years then the child starts putting understanding the various drawing so the child will be able to put that uh, the communication in the form of drawing believe me it's very very important when we just grow up in life if those uh, drawing through communication becomes very effective that the child becomes a very very effective communicator but sometimes we don't spend time with our child therefore the child misses out something when i said that this research we did 
we found that 40% children missing out something in, in uh, making themselves as effective communicator. This is one of the reason that child is not given that opportunity to put something into the piece of paper that child wants to convey. Because at this age, if child wants to communicate something apart from speaking, then it is through putting in the piece of paper various drawing of various objects. So we have to uh, encourage our child to do that. Similarly, if the child wants a glass of water or glass of uh, milk, let's encourage the child, you just draw whatever you want instead of speaking it out. That's why we call this game as mute conversation. So that has to be drawn. If the child will be uh, understanding the basic uh, basic pattern writing, here the child can uh, put a one backward slanting line, one forward slanting line, one uh, circle, and the child can make a glass. So if we can also tell the child, okay, you want a glass of water, let's draw it out. In the first instances, we can also help the child saying that, okay, to draw a glass, we need one backward slanting line, let's put it one forward slanting light let's put it and one circle we want it let's put it so we have created glass so next time or you can just ask the child to repeat that so the child instead of water would be trying to draw milk inside the water, uh, glass so that becomes a effective communication platform for the child to understand and apart from this writing skill the child's cognitive skill will also be growing in the process because the child will be thinking if I need to sow milk in, 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 in the glass, how I can just, you know, make it. So that becomes very, very effective for the child to make the communication much easier. And going further, if the child is little bigger, child is going, finishing the LKG class, then child starts writing the letters. Then in this, if the child will be, will say that, let's play mute conversation game. And if you want something, instead of saying, just put it in, in, in the piece of paper. And here, as we have discussed, when the child writes various combination of letters, which forms the, the words, and child is also learning various new words in the school and at home, the child will also try to copy those words into this piece of paper. And if the child is trying to convey this message to parents or teachers, allow the child, encourage the child to put that into the piece of paper. And you spend time with the child. If we spend half an hour for this game, child will be writing and doing a lot of things in the piece of paper. And believe me, that will increase the writing skill of the child in the future. Once the child is writing like this ball, then that means a lot for the parents. That means a lot in terms of communication or writing skill development. And if the child is little further grown up, the child is UKG, then child understand writing small sentence. And here also, to check that, to encourage the child to continue writing small sentence, then if the child wants a little bit of uh, uh, more information, the child can form sentence, I want water or bring water. So these kind of things child will put into the piece of paper while the child will be communicating anything. So parents, this game sounds to be very easy, very uh, effective to adapt. Only thing is that if we parents can follow this game maximum times at home or at school, and the child while enjoying this game with parents, at the same time, we are just building the writing skill of the child, whether it's uh, the drawing of an object, whether uh, writing various uh, simple, uh, or we can simply say when the child is in uh, LKG or, or in nursery or only writes letters of alphabets or any language uh, alphabets, then we can say that if you want something, let's put A, I'll guess that what you're trying to say. If the child is writing D, then we parents can say, do you want doll? Okay. Do you want uh, um, uh, anything else? So, which starts with D, the, that also the child to understand. So, 